In a crash on a dangerous stretch of road, we've learned there are plans in place for safety improvement. That crash happened on Cornelius Pass Road when a car went off a steep embankment. The county acknowledges the road is dangerous and improvements should be made, but those are still years away. We sent our Jennifer Dowling to find out why. Kerrigan Clark was scheduled to graduate from Scappoose High School in 2016. There were counselors here to help her classmates grieve. Meanwhile, it was a tough day for the community as they wonder why more safety improvements weren't made to the road, even though it's been studied for years. She was a light in the dark world. Youth pastor Chance Rice says Kerrigan Clark was a member of Branch's church. She was an amazing person. Her life taken too quickly when her car went off a 75-foot ledge on Northwest Cornelius Pass Road. You can see there is no guardrail blocking the steep drop to McCarthy Creek below where her car landed. In the community, um, you can see there's a big gaping hole um, of hurt. This 2008 road safety audit was completed after another teen from her hometown, Tasia Bellwood, died. We have made safety improvements. Um, so we've made a number of safety improvements and they've, uh, they've proved effective where we've made them. But obviously, there's a lot more to be done. County spokesperson Mike Pullen. It's about a five mile section of road. Said the target date for future improvements is now 2017. Can you accelerate the project? Uh, no, we don't even have the money to build those improvements. So we have the money to design them, but we don't even have the money to build them. Can you pressure lawmakers to take quicker action? Can I pressure lawmakers? Um, I, I doubt I can pressure lawmakers to take action. Can the county? Um, I, would, I would hope. Um, there will be a community effort to make this a priority to get to get uh, funding. Meanwhile, the community is pulling together in a different way. I mean, we're expecting a great day. Dutch Bros in Scapoose and St. Helens, where she was a regular, is planning a Saturday fundraiser called Cup for Kerrigan. Yeah, she came through every day. All proceeds from sales will go to her family. This community is so amazing to where everyone really comes together in a time of tragedy. My heart breaks for her family. That's uh, I know Kerrigan's good to go. She's up in heaven. Um, she's smiling down, but uh, I know it leaves a loss, it leaves a hole in all of our lives. If you'd like to help in the Dutch Bros fundraiser in Scapoose or St. Helens, we'll put more information on how you can do that on our website at coin.com. Reporting from Scapoose, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.